all of the telcos have started using AI in their environments. Um, I think early adopters of AI in the telco sector started using it more on the, the channels, the front end side with customers like myself and, and uh, the public. And they started creating chatbots. I think that was one of the first ones if you saw with ChatGPT, you had an easy interface to use. That's kind of where the telco started. And there have been a range of use cases. You know, um, A lot of them are looking at uh, some internal ones uh, from an HR perspective, how can they book their leave, et cetera. And there are ones that are going to hit the market probably in the next six months to a year where you can actually buy your products and there'll be an AI interaction behind that. And uh, that'll allow us to get the right product when we want it. So I think uh, an interesting one where uh, they, it's core to their business on the network side mm -hmm. and balancing of networks, you know, load balancing them. Uh, you know, a, a lot of that today is done manually by humans. And uh, we're starting to see some early trials now where the telco, some in South Africa are actually using AI to adopt AI into the network so that could actually ensure you have a better you know, quality of service, better call, et cetera. And that's actually integrating itself into the core network. Yeah, you're starting to see, you know, also, uh, you know, w w from a call center perspective, you know, there's lots of customers calling call centers. The, you, you're getting some smart, clever analysis that AI is doing on these contact centers mm -hmm. to decrease tickets. So, you know, agents can work on the right things quickly and become more efficient at that. It's not going to just blow up overnight. I think we've seen a lot of, I guess, publicity through uh, open AI and what they're doing and kind of in the last year everybody's talking about AI, it's, you know, so there's been lots of media events around it. Uh, but it is slowly starting to interact and integrate into businesses and uh, consumers like myself and you. I think in five years, absolutely, I think you'll find AI being a de facto in most devices we have, most interactions we have. Uh, there'll be some AI type of interaction um, and uh, it'll only increase from now. So I definitely see it being more pervasive in five years time. There's a mindset shift that's needed from, I guess, the corporates in South Africa to adopt AI. Um, obviously, there's a bit of trepidation from some of the organizations. Uh, should they invest more in this or should they see how it evolves? And my guidance is to try for your industry to start investing time and understanding how it's going to help your industry. Um, I think the barrier for me is a mindset barrier where, you know, a lot of organizations, because there's a capital investment required, are probably thinking, maybe this is not for us right now. But if you follow that mi mindset, you're going to be a follower. Mm -hmm. And the organizations that are going to be investing more, and Accenture's done a lot of research on that through our business reinvention uh, surveys. Organizations that are investing ahead of the curve will leapfrog and go far ahead. And the ones that try it a bit later will struggle to catch up. So if you look at some of the organizations in South Africa that are, I guess, struggling a bit, uh, they're following a bit too much. Uh, they should be leading, they, sh they need to actually get over the hump and, and go for it. Otherwise, they're just going to fall further behind. I think, look, obviously it's the time, the investment to test these things out. Uh, but I don't see it as a disadvantage. You know, there's a learning process, obviously, with anything. And, um, you know, in some cases you might get it wrong, you know, and, uh, but eventually we'll get it right. So, for me, look, um, AI is not new. Uh, I think for the last uh, probably decade we're seeing it evolving uh, and maturing to the state it is now. Um, I, I think organizations have to do it. It's, you know, you're going to have to invest time and, and in different channels of your business and get AI introduced into your business as a matter of urgency actually uh, because your competitors are and uh, your, your consumers uh, need that different level of interaction right now. So I think it is important to uh, not see so much the disadvantages, uh, but look, uh, you know, over that. And the disadvantages could be time to market and, you know, speed to deploy these these uh, type of AI models. But I see it more as a learning process. You know, you have to do it. Uh, invest the time. Look at your industry. Ensure that you have the right staff skilled in the particular models that you're trying to build and, and do it.